Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. And uh, today is an exploring day, and we're going to see if it's possible to save the remainder of the people that we were trying to. Unless they're Black Eagles, they're probably gone, and they're our enemy now, so we're going to see them as our enemy. So, Ferdinand, and what's your face? Your enemies! Okay. I just... Is the enemy of my enemy my enemy or is the enemy of my enemy my friend oh we have a support with who sylvain uh with... I, i'm just saying it's a, a line from dick tracy the movie ah hello mary oh no all done for the sylvain day. oh sylvain yes i was just heading back to my quarters well then my timing couldn't be better i was just heading into town and i thought Maybe you'd like to join That's me? That's Asher's girl! Um, I don't think I should. That's right. I heard a story once about a beautiful maiden who was locked up in a monastery day and night. I heard a story about someone who dated Asher's girl and they the died. World. Then a brave knight set the girl free and took her to town, where they drank tea and talked for hours. <laughs> so, my fair maiden? Please, you should not waste your time on me. Besides, my adoptive father requested that I not stray too far from the monastery. Margrave Edmund wants to keep you locked up, huh? I've heard he's... Uh, let's call it ambitious. Well, just tell him who I am. I think he'd approve. I'm heir to House Gautier, one of the most prominent families in the kingdom. I've got a crest, I've got money, and I'm stunningly handsome. Oh! What's that face for, Marianne? Was it the handsome thing? I can see how that might have been a bit much. I... I don't really know you all that well, but I don't think it makes a difference. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me that you have a crest. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean you should find my crest impressive. I meant your family would, and... You know what? Maybe I should start over. If you're going into town, please just go without me. Oh, okay. I've got to get going anyway. Places to be, you know. <laughs> well, this is me going. Sylvain is not the brightest. But remember, should you ever need me, I will forever be your knight, my maiden. I wonder what he meant by that. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just a line, Marianne. It doesn't mean anything. He was wooing you and he failed. Just forget it. Oh my gosh. That's just not... Oh, Ferdinand might still be around. And so is... Uh... Only one deer remain, two deer remain. So two eagles and two deer. Okay. Well, that's that's something else. Well. Oh dear. Let's do this. Eat. Mhm. Mm DLC supplies. No idea what that is. So, well, like Lady Rhea was talking about how you're a vessel. Yeah. And you had, like, some kind of goddess spirit in you, and now the two, like, your spirit and your body are going to become one or something. Mm. So the goddess is going to merge with you. So Ambitron is going to disappear and become Sothis. I don't know. I mean, we can't hear Sothis anymore. She's been gone for several episodes now. No more she's voices in our head. I know, but she's you now. Uh, you well, are why aren't I talking to myself then? I don't know. How are you, Professor? Any new changes well, to report? my hair is green. With the Imperial Army drawing near, it is most vexing that we cannot relax and converse as we once I'm did. going fishing. Thankfully, we relaxed before? <laughs> you have the divine protection of the goddess on your side. Please try to listen carefully for her voice. What? But I thought I am her. I can't hear a thing. Please do not say such sad things. I am certain you will hear her in What time. if I don't? May the goddess's voice reach you. But if if I don't hear her, then... Then maybe you should fire me for not being the goddess? I don't... Are you sure you want to hire me thinking I'm going to hear her and then I don't? Uh, practice yields results. Yay! Practice yields results. I have magic now. And I'm happy as a... Mommy, wow, I have magic now. That's right. That works. Yeah, I like that. Okay. We goodbye. We But we have, have to be careful. Hey. To think Edelgard was somehow connected to the captain's uh, murder. Yeah. Well, 
Perhaps it's pointless to get upset about the past. My duty now is to prepare for battle. You could get upset well, depending like on your Dimitri. Strength, professor, crush our enemies. Yeah! Captain, <laughs> I hope you're watching. We will protect Garrick Mark. I hope so. Are those like thigh high boots that he's wearing? It practice yields results. Looks like something. You know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it looks strange. Bye, weird person. Oh, Sadith, what's up? We must protect Garrick Mark. Oh. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. Okay, what's the quest about? What's the new response? something to ask of you. Okay, collect the information of the Imperial Armor. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I was kind of telling Luke before we started recording, but I feel a little uncomfortable with all the ruling class being people with green hair and having dragon blood. It's like... Dragon blood! Oh, I see. So you can only be a ruler if you... It's not based on, like, your leadership skills or, like, you know, you knowing how to lead an army. Apparently it's just based on your, you know, lineage and, like, oh, if I'm a superior being than everyone else. May I continue? I'm done! I just feel uncomfortable. The holy tomb held many crest stones. This is the first time I've heard of crest stones being hidden away in such a place. But more importantly, I'm interested to know the Empire's aim. Why would their army desire crest stones? There is power there, yes. And yet, I must think on this. The crest stones lie at the heart of the events surrounding Conan Tower and the chapel as well. And of course, the crest stones somehow transform those traitors and their captives into demonic beasts. Could that possibly be their aim? The Empire's army may well plan to use crest stones to create demonic beasts. Yikes. Yeah, but they didn't get the crest stones. That's true, they did not. Of course, they know where they are now. Now, if we check our thing... Maybe we can install a security system. I don't think that would really... Well, you know what? Put a little camera there, hire a security uh, guard, put a little electric fence there. I think that's a little much, Amber. It's a little, a little much there. Maybe dig a moat. No, no moats. Maybe Wait, have some booby traps set up. Who's in this room? What the? Hi. Hi there. What the? Oh. Who are you? Hang on, guys. Hi. So, Edelgard, the one who calls herself the Flame Emperor, was connected to those strange beings. The Imperial Army might be using even more terrifying methods than we know. You had better be cautious, Professor. Any amount of carelessness might prove to be our undoing. Do you want to join Lysithia? Lysithia? Oh, yes. I'm actually very busy right now. If you're here to ask a favor, please ask someone else. Come with me if you want to live. Magic is C. Faith is C. Uh, I don't know how to get this unit. <sighs> listen to you. Now listen. Now you're going to die if you don't ask to be part of my class. All right, we're back from the future, and uh, we borrowed a uh, Chrono Trigger time hole, if you guys didn't know what that time gate was. Uh, we tried to recruit her, and we still can't get her, so we're inviting her to tea! So That's oh, oh, you, you borrowed that from Chrono Trigger. I, cool. Yeah, Chrono, Chrono uh, let us borrow it. That was nice of him. She's not able to make it to tea?! Oh. Why would you not be able to make it? Well, that's just great. Well, what is she doing? Standing, staring blankly at walls? I don't know. Why? She doesn't like tea. Um, maybe she likes riding boots? Thank you. Nope. She doesn't like riding boots. Uh, do you like a watering can? Thank you. She doesn't like... Maybe she likes flowers, then. Do you like... Goddess statue? Thank you. Nope. 
I mean, the goddess statue. What about coffee beans? Everybody loves coffee. I guess I can take this. <laughs> that was expensive! Give her I a potted guess, plant! I guess I can take this? You give that gift back. If you don't want it, just tell the person you don't want it. And we will give it to someone who appreciates that. Thank you. <sighs> no, Lily? What is this? Thank you. Meh. She's so... Thank you. Oh! Board game? Why don't you give her your ceremonial sword? No. I don't think don't she do cares. That. What is this? Stylish hair clip? Thank you. Wow, she's just... She doesn't care. Fishing? Thank you. She doesn't really care about anything. Floral arrangement! Thank you. Ah! <laughs> what do you like? For me? I love it! Oh! Okay! Now we get a reaction! I don't even know what we just gave you. I don't even know we what... gave her a bear. Oh, she likes bears. Thank you. Uh, she's, she's a crazy Man, one. she has high standards. Yeah, she that has. That will be her undoing. It will. It will. It will. Look, you tried to save us. I'm going to save her. Possible. She's a sea rank. I'm not giving up. I, I like, refuse to give up. I feel like you saved more people than most people playing this game or doing a playthrough of this game. No. One more. One more student. Why? Look, there will always be other people that you don't get. Well, I mean, some of them I just give really? up on because I, I tried. I will say she has the most interesting, like, right. backstory the and character. The behind the attacks on the monastery was Edelgard? Wow. Doesn't make much sense, though, does it? There would need to be all sorts of territories and groups tangled up in this sort of mess. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. I don't really have the head for this political stuff. Mostly, I'm worried about my old opera company. I wonder what's happening in the capital right now. I hope they're safe. As Probably long, not. As long as the opera singers are safe, that's all that matters. Mm. That's true. Save the opera singers! No, I'm not wasting that. Everyone else can fall. The opera company must survive. <laughs> the opera. <laughs> there you go. Okay, there. Um. No, we already have him, so I mean that's fine. This, this I feel like Manuel is kind of like me in that she has so many different things she does. She's a medic and she used to sing opera. I thought you didn't like Manuel anymore. Well, she's growing on me. Well, that's honest. Professor, you know, professor. I'm glad that I came to the Officer's Academy. I feel accepted here. I've learned so much. Honestly, I'm surprised at how much I've grown. But you're so short. So, I will not let the Academy be destroyed. <laughs> it's important to me, and I will protect it. You go. I feel braver just hearing you say that, Professor. We're gonna win this, Professor. Should we sing the Min May song now? No. We can win! No. No, Amber! Welcome. Stop! 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 You have a good eye. I have a great eye. In fact, I have. Wait, I've already. Deja vu. I have two eyes. Yeah, two eyes are better than both your eyes. Two eyes are better than one. The double the seeing and double the fun. You have a good eye. She likes the armored bear. I'm gonna give her another. You have a good eye. He keeps telling me you have a good eye. You have a good eye. Hey, buddy. You have a good eye. My eyes are right here. I have two of them. My eyes are up here. They're I green. Have two. I have there. two eyes, not one. Uh, this one, yes. Yeah, board game. I think. <laughs> I thank you. I think. I thank you. I think this. I think. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. This one, this one, yes. This one, yes. This one, yes. You're making me, Luke. You're making me very triggered. Spending all the money that I was grinding a lot to help on some of it. I think Please. this one, yes. I'm just buying bait. I'm about to I hit you with a pillow one, yes. if you don't stop spending the money. But I think. what is money if not to spend? Ow! Stop! Stop it! Return soon, please. Okay. Greetings, Professor. Something to report. Unexpected, isn't it? 
Apparently, this is the first time Garrick Mach has been invaded in its whole 995 year history. It's my job to protect this gate, so even if enemies come in droves, I will never let them through. I hope we both survive. Let's battle with all our might and pray we win this thing. But I still have three hundred thousand dollars. No, you don't, because you have to spend that on other stuff in the future. Yes, dear. The Amber's really mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. So Edelgard, the one who calls herself the Flame Emperor, was connected to those strange beings. The Imperial Army might be using even more terrifying methods than we know. Uh -huh. You had better be cautious, Professor. Any amount of carelessness might prove to be our undoing. Yeah, like spending too much. Oh, would you like to come to tea? Maybe we could use one millionth of the amount of tea that we have here. <laughs> Just relax. <sighs> Alright, where's where's the I little bear? I would relax if I had my my money in my pocket, but apparently somebody just literally basically robbed it from me and threw tea in my pocket instead. No. Alright, here's the bear. She likes the bear. For me? I love it. Yay! I have another bear. For me? I love it. Good. You won't like a training weight. You won't like water and can. Hey, you can't put a down payment on your house in bears or tea. Stylish hair cup? Wow, she doesn't care about her appearance at all. Uh, what is that? A dapper handkerchief? Fashionable with men. I don't think she would like that. She doesn't like spices. She doesn't like goddess statues. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for that. Um, you hate coffee beans. What about sunflowers? Thank you. Nope. Uh, accepted by those who like flowers. And like flowers. Okay, carnation. Thank you. Wow. Maybe we should try to recruit her again. We've given mm. her so many gifts. Nope, she has to be a B rank for us to recruit. How can we get her to a B rank? It's like that. Ha! Good job. Yay! Yay! See, see, see. One will be saved. The rest will die. Probably. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's go here. Hey, war's intense, okay? It's very tense. Okay. Hey, Catherine. Oops. Ugh. If I could go back to last month and throttle my carefree self. Now it turns out Edelgard is the Flame Emperor and the new Adrestian Emperor. And she's striking out against the monastery with the full force of the Imperial Army behind her. We gotta beat her at her own game. For our sake, as well as Lady Rhea's. Faculty training. I don't have armor. Well, that makes me sad. Um, thank you so much for the... Maybe you can invite her to tea randomly. No, I don't want to invite her to tea. Why? We will invite someone to tea, though. Mm. Hello? Where are you? I'm just thinking, it's not good to buy so much tea at one time, because it gets I, expired. I... well, in this game it doesn't expire. It doesn't really. The most really. important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor. My father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Caspar's are supporting Edelgard. What? Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Well, how do you feel about that? I guess we'll try to recruit him. His dad is supporting the enemy, though. It's awkward. Agreed. There. Uh, he likes. I don't right. know. What I just. Do you like a coffee bean? I'll gladly take this. Okay, you can gladly take that. I'll gladly take. He doesn't. He doesn't like fancy things. I'll gladly. Take <sighs> I don't even think we're gonna be doing that many tea parties anymore. Well, this is simply delightful. Really. 
You you like the fishing float? Well, this is simply delightful. Maybe he likes fishing. I'll gladly take this. Okay. Well, that was weird. Still, ah, he's ready for C rank, Amber. There's a possibility. There is a chance. There's a chance, and where there's a there's a wall. Where there's a chance, there's a wall, and where there's a wall, there's a chance. Um, all right. Well, let's teleport here. Hello, beautiful. I'm sorry about the tea. It's okay. We'll grind more money someday. Don't worry about it. I'm not talking about in the game. I'm very stressed. I don't want you to get in the habit of spending forty thousand dollars in the game and then you end up doing it in real life. I'm a penny punt penny penny pincher. Pin penny mm. I am now, I didn't used to be. I'm worried about you okay. getting too much tea in real life. I'll have that girl's head. Wow. Just you wait. Wow. Wow, that that is not what you say at church. What did he say? We're not repeating that. Well Dimitri's crazy. Did he say that? I love my blue lions, but Dimitri is nuts! How dare they threaten the goddess! Such a vile act cannot be forgiven. There is no need to worry, I promise you that. Divine punishment will surely fall upon them. <laughs> in the days of yore, the goddess would grow angry with such insolent fools and roast them in ALL. Ew. Your god sounds kind of bad. Just. Just yeah. saying, it's uh, it's something. I guess they have to make the goddess and sin. Professor, thank you for helping me with my training. Anytime. I'd love to do this again if possible. Your advice is always so useful. Maybe we could. Everyone thinks you're if a you're wonderful not dead. teacher. You account for people's weaknesses while capitalizing on their strengths. Initially, I wasn't sure you paid too much attention to your students. Clearly, I was wrong. After all, were that the case, you wouldn't be capable of providing such useful feedback. I'll continue to learn and grow from your instruction, Professor. I just know it. You're quite determined. You think I'm determined? Yes. Professor, I... Thank you. You're the only one who's ever praised me like that. I mean, people are always telling me I've got a knack for magic. If you can call the power of my crests a knack, they aren't wrong per se. Though bearing two crests isn't a gift I ever asked for. Anyhow, I've made a point to work harder than most and not rely too heavily on the power they bestow. So I find it frustrating that the only praise I seem to receive is directly related to that power. If you've noticed how hard I work, then well, it just... It makes me very happy. Aww. Aww. Well... You see... I... It is because... I am the only child of House Ordelia. I must do all I can for my family name. I'm determined to someday be of real value to them. And that day must come soon. I can't waste any time. I don't have much of it left. Anyway, I should be going. Thank you again for your help. B rank. So what have we learned from B rank? Students will seek you out. So, Be even yourself. if we can't yeah. recruit her, she will come to us. That's pretty cool. And if we meet on the battlefield now, I will do a little spoiler for you guys. In the future, if we face her in battle, say her, you know, country turns evil. If we face her with the professor and we oh. defeat her, we have mm -hmm. an option of killing or sparing her. If you oh. spare her, she joins your team. If you kill her, well, oops. <laughs> but we, yeah. will, we will spare her. I guess we have no choice but to fight, have we? Oh, but why would Edelgard do something like this? I'm sure we'll be all right, though, Professor. The goddess will keep us safe. Hope so. All right. Uh, you. Can we really defeat someone who is willing to turn their back on the world just to uphold their own beliefs? I've spent my whole life running in fear, and now I. 
we can win this together. Surely we can win if we rely on each other. Right, Professor? That's right, Marianne. That's yep, yeah, that's that's our hope. Oh hey, Flane. Professor. War is breaking out again, is it not? Yeah, again, what? There was a truly <laughs> terrible war once upon a time. I never wanted another war. All we can do is steal ourselves for the fight ahead. Okay. Let's steal it ourselves. What? I don't what? know. Okay. I'm trying to talk in old English, which I don't know. Oh, we are so close to getting more experience. This divine pulse. I don't want divine See, pulse. Now you're doing good it. soon. What? What if? I don't know. What if do you speak it, Amber? It's... Okay, now if I was. Oh, what up, Ferdinand? You're gonna say no. Half of the Empire's six great noble families have declared their support for Edelgard. Of the other three, Lord Vestral was assassinated. Hubert, his son, will succeed him. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is under house arrest. His wife is now supporting Edelgard. And my father, he was stripped of his role as Prime Minister. As a result, House Iyer has lost all of its power, all of its lands. We have lost everything. Wow. I... I... What do I do? Join us! Join us! Join us or die. I mean, I'm not gonna destroy you, it's just somebody else will. Well, actually, I probably will. Half of oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so- You stupid fool! You fool! <laughs> fool, fool, fool. Foolish fool. Okay, we're back from our little time travel adventure. So we went into the future and he said no. So we're going to keep our options open, but um, he had some pretty bad stuff happen. He's basically poor now. So... <laughs> Oops. Welcome to Earth. I know, right? Mm. Well, hello, Professor. You came all the way to my room to... Oh. You've brought the materials from your lecture I slept through. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hmm. I won't do this again. It's rare for a nice professor like you to be so strict. Please, Professor. You must understand how difficult it is for me to fight the demon of drowsiness. <sighs> Just talking about it makes me sleepy. Let's... a trip to town might be... Um, yeah. You're not motivated enough. Trip to town, I would... that's positive. I don't know. That sounds more than a little exhausting. I think I'd I think he would say whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I must compliment you, though. By All this right. point in most yeah, conversations, I'm just bored me. senseless. But I'm enjoying this. I wonder why. What is it about you that fascinates me so? You're definitely a strange one. Hmm. I'm not strange. You're strange. In truth, your very nature is odd. You're definitely not a commoner. But you don't seem like a noble, either. You're... something Dragon! else. Dragon! And yet you can wield one of the hero's relics. Hmm? You're like a hero in some silly legend. Or you could be a villain who came here to enact some evil plot. That wouldn't surprise me either. Hey now! Not a villain. Yeah. Do I look like a villain? Hey professor, will you ever allow me to investigate that crest of yours? It won't hurt a bit, I swear. I'm sure I could find out all sorts of things about your crest. And you. Of course, I'm not as experienced with such research as Professor Hanneman, but I do what I can. Someday, I think I might like to become a Crest Scholar. You never know. Okay. Hmm. Oh, don't trouble yourself. I didn't mean now. I've got a lot of other research I'm working on at the moment. I tend to start a project, get bored, and then leave it be. I might be ready to investigate your Crest soon. I'd have to tidy up a bit first. On that note, good night, Professor. Well, he's done talking. Yeah. 
Okay, C rank. Well, that means we have to give him more lavish gifts. Oh my gosh, I really, at this point, I really don't care if everyone dies or not. Wow, you're harsh. Mean Amber. This just takes too much effort to try to save one individual. It's like, you might as well just get it over with on the battlefield. Wow, and I, I can't, I can't believe you're the same, same person. It's a bit, a bit too much. Oh, okay, you're not one to, wait. Where is this person? Aha! Uh -huh. Wait. There you are. I cannot believe our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little Calm by little. Calm down. They couldn't be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. Ooh. Okay, well that's not good. Yeah, I think people are a little stressed out around here. A little bit. <laughs> I hear the Alliance's territory will be in danger if we don't get rid of these Empire guys. If the Alliance is in danger, that means my sister's in danger too. There's no way I'm gonna allow that. It doesn't matter how many guys they throw at us. I'll beat them all. These muscles aren't just for show. But first, I gotta get some food. All right, let's feed the big guy. These muscles aren't just for show. Today's special is going to be for... Where is he? I know you want to eat. Where are you? Where is he? There he is. And Marianne could use some cheering. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Catherine. This is delicious! My absolute favorite! Food always tastes better when you're sharing a meal with others. Yeah, whatever. Increase my professor rank. Yay! Professor rank up! No, we don't have professor rank up. Oh, sorry. I thought you said it... Oh, no, professor I said level. increase our professor level. Yes, I never said sorry. rank up. Oh. What am I going to do with you? Amber! All right, let's go to the greenhouse. Yes, greenhouse is open. Hello. How is everyone in here? I'm going to grab this. Thank you. Bernie. What does war with Edelgard mean for us, Professor? And why does she even want that? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'd have to ask her. That's how it always goes, I guess. You never realize something can't be undone until you've done it. Okay, well, you're already in my house, so I don't need to do anything else for you. Ingrid, what up? I've known His Highness since I was a child, but I've never seen that side of him before. He seemed like a completely different person than the one I know. A little crazy. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna harvest our stuff. Yay, thank you. Plant all the really expensive stuff. Whatever this is, whatever this is, whatever this is, whatever this is. And that's all I can plant. Huh. Alright. Cultivate. Boom. Sweet. Alright, so who's left on our little list? Oh yeah, because that'll pay off if we grow our own stuff. Well, you get gifts, too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you oh. can use them as gifts. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, we're looking for... Oh. His quest is done. Do you remember where Sadath was hiding out? Was it with the Queen Lady or in his office? Try his um, office. Um, I thought it was his office. Aha! Well done. Well done. You Thank you. Talks. My renown has increased. What do you teach? Nothing interesting. Oh, sorry, but I can use that for something else. Manuela doesn't teach magic. Um, who else? Catherine just teaches sword. Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Um Gilbert! Giblet! That's right. Turkey leg. Always hanging out here. What? There are always small power struggles, still. It has been hundreds of years since all of Fodland was consumed by war. I didn't actually think it would come to this. Yes, you did. I feel as though I'm not in my rightful place. I cannot protect the things I should, Professor. 
I survived this war, I wish to return to my homeland, to the land of my king. Can we recruit you? No. I wish. <sighs> Armor. Oh, no C rank. Grr. Wait, what what rank are we for armor now? Roster. Um, we are... Dang it. Only D, so you need to be at least C rank. Yeah, no heavy armor. People are going to be saved. Other than the one we managed to get to B rank, who came to hang out with us, which was cool. We're falling behind. I don't mm -hmm. know that we can keep up with the new emperor. To think that she was able to raise an army of that size right under our noses. However hard we fight, I give us a 50% chance of winning. That low? The enemy has too many advantages. We must make careful preparations. Okay. Well, you don't have anything fun for us. Okay. Um, let's go spoil what's his name again. And we'll do the rest of the exploring another day. Let's try to get him to B rank by giving him all the gifts. Where is he? Where are you? Aha! Piece of cake. Now. Hello. The most important nobles in the empire. Yeah, not... nobody cares about your sad story. Gifts. And he likes this. Well, this is simply delightful. Why do you like that? I don't know. Um, give him meat. No, no. A hunting dagger. Honestly, I don't want it. Honestly, I don't want it. But you took it! <laughs> you took it! Then give it back if you don't want it! Tea leaves. I'll gladly take this. Okay, whatever. I'll gladly take that. Stylish hair clip. Fashionable for women. Chivalry. I'll gladly take Dang it. Uh, studies book. There you go. I'll gladly take what? this. What? Then he's excited. Oh, no, no, he's not. No, he's yeah, not. He yeah, doesn't yeah, want that. He didn't want it at all. Painting. Exotic spices. I'll gladly take okay, whatever. Uh, got a statue. I'll gladly take Ceremonial sword. Coin. I'll gladly uh, take uh, daffodil. I'll gladly yeah, take. Gladly take this. What about um, dapper handkerchief? I'll gladly take. Whatever. Uh, gemstone beads. I'll gladly take. Uh, uh, floral arrangement. I'll gladly take. Yeah, you know. Water and can. I'll okay. Um, waist. No, waist stone is for whatever people. Stylish hair clip. I want to give him a women's <laughs> hair clip just to mess with him, but I know it won't really do anything. Forget me nots. No more owl feathers? Where are all my owl feathers? Much appreciated. Aha! Hm. He accepted our tea invite. Now we got him. Okay. Most expensive tea. Where is it? Uh rose. Hmm. Well, let's try this one. I am happy that you invited me, even though it interferes with my nap time. Oh, shut up. It's tea time. Much appreciated. Okay, so what can we do for you? Oh, uh, I don't know. Just flatter him. I don't really know. What I don't he think is. he's the flattering type. He's lazy. I heard some gossip. The library's collection. Lovely. Boom. Yes. Okay. Agreed. Working hours for guards. Working together. Reliable allies. Dang it! Oh. Rewind time. Can't. Agreed. Dinner invitation. Tell me about yourself. <sighs> Better than nothing. Would you like to go to tea again? That was delicious. It feels good to relax. Well, I'm off to catch a nap. Whatever, dude. Was that enough? No. Wasn't enough. <sighs> you are something else. Yeah. No, he really is. Alright, um, let's try cooking with him. Maybe that'll do something. Uh, and we already had a meal with students, so let's try 
having him cook with us. That should increase our rank with him a little bit. Yeah, I hope so. You will be saved, my friend. Will happen. You like fish, for whatever reason. So, fish it is. Not giving up, people! I'll be most useful as a taste tester. The rest is all you, Professor. Oh, I'm just kidding. You'll find it turns out best if you just follow the recipe until the food is done. Easy. I see. He talks a lot. Yeah, he does. Dexterity is up. And... Was that enough? Curse you! I'm literally... I gave you everything that I had, and it still didn't work. Yeah. Fine. Lost gift. You have to have something. History. Oh, thank you. I yeah. Ever finding it. And the man is made of stone. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I have given this man everything. Fine. The most important nobles in the empire. Oh, I'm shut not... your face. Nobody cares. Um. I'll give you some more gifts. Uh. Ooh, Legends of Chivalry? It's a book? I'll gladly take oh, this. Whatever. Give him. I guess so. I don't know. Uh, Ceremonial Sword? I'll gladly take Yeah, you gladly take this. Of course you'll. Board game! I'll gladly take uh, this. Hmm. What is this? Carnation? He doesn't care about that. He doesn't like flowers. Wants things that remind him of naps. Give him a pillow. Yeah. Or teddy bear. No, teddy bear was for the other girl. Hmm. Smoke meat? I'll gladly take this. Bear, bear, meat, meats. <gasps> it worked! Ha! Ha! Great job, Luke! So even if we meet on the battlefield, you will live, my friend. Take Yay! that, Internet! Another has been sort of saved. Kind of. Another doesn't bite the dust. Probably. In your face, Internet! All right, so talk to everybody here. And oh, the Petra. Internet thought it could never happen. It did. Kind of did. Let's take that. Petra, where are you at? Yeah. Um, I don't know where she is. I have had the arrival of a letter from Edelgard. She is asking that I join her side. No. She is making the decision. No, she is deciding if Bridget is a friend or an enemy of the Empire. But my choice is not to be friends. My choice is to fight with you. Bridget is not a friend of the Empire. We will not be following again. We will be ready to fight with you instead. Oh yeah! Yeah! Good job. Good decision. I, I support de that decision. Make good decisions. Yeah. Well, their, their country did make a good decision. Here we go. B rank. <sighs> what are you doing? It's just... I was wondering why it seems as if no one values their own lives. Why do we fight until we die? Why do we kill without hesitation? I hate it. I don't like taking lives, or even the sight of blood. In the last battle, some of the soldiers under my command died for foolish reasons. Those soldiers could have pulled back. Instead, they kept fighting and were overrun. Mm. Am I supposed to be satisfied with the victory alone, even at the cost of such life? Mm, I couldn't be satisfied with that. Yeah. Exactly. I don't see the point. Honor? That's a foolish reason to give your life. Glory? Even worse. Just the thought frightens me. I'm not suited for battle, Professor. That's not something you can control. Mm. There are some fights you just can't run away from, though. That's true, Luke. I suppose that's the nature of the world, mm, isn't it? Brave, brave. Professor, you take the time to lead me and teach me like this every day. Could the reason be that you don't want me to die on the battlefield? Hmm. Yes. I won't mm. let you die. Yeah. That's a bold statement, Professor. 
But for whatever reason, I want to believe you. You really are a strange person, you know. Professor, I wish to ask something of you. I... I don't want to kill. I don't want blood on my hands. I just want to lie on my back and soak up the sun filtering down through the trees. And I want you to help me make that a reality. Join me! Join me and we can rule together as teacher and student. Oh, that was intense. Okay. That went through a lot of gifts, but... Um... Well... That's a good place as any. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for today's episode. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. We still have one more Professor Point and a few more days of exploring. We can get the others to B-rank. Maybe. Yeah! But if we meet on the battlefield, two more will be saved unless they join us before the final battle. So like, oh, comment, subscribe, and we will see you with more Fire Emblem Three Houses. God bless and happy gaming.